Hey YouTube, Trey here from Topic Tech, and as you may know, I was in CES earlier this year and I had a chance to grab one of the products from there. This is the Magic Q Projection Keyboard by Cellion. Now this of course is not the first of its kind, but it's definitely one that has really uh, improved the way that you use it. It's really small and compact and it has a built-in battery so you can charge it through USB. This model connects through Bluetooth or you can directly connected through USB to a computer or device that has a standard USB port. But the best thing about this is it is universal for a lot of different devices. So you can use it for an iPhone, uh, an Android device like a Galaxy S3, I and mean, even a Mac computer, just simply connecting either through Bluetooth or directly through USB. As we open this up, it doesn't come with much, and at a price point of about 150 bucks, it's kind of expected. It's really a cool device, um, but the only things you need is the device itself and something to charge it. They make it very simple, especially with the setup process, and I'll show you that in this review. And as we're looking on the back here, this is the toggle switch to turn it off and on. Again, very simple. As you turn it on, it lights up. Here's an example of what it looks like on a wooden display. This is polished, um, but it comes out really clear. Works in a lot of different areas, so you can kind of get creative on how you want to use it. I don't have it connected to anything right now, but each click that you hear is me tapping a key. Here's a closer look, and as you can see, it's really nice and detailed. Um, you can adjust the sharpness, but it is really, really clear. Now let's connect it to an iPad. It's very simple. Simply go to your settings, go down to Bluetooth, and search for the Bluetooth device. Once you've found it, it's going to have you tap some numbers on the key. Just tap those numbers in and hit enter. Now let's take a look at it in the notes pad. It's very accurate once you get used to it. It does take some practice because it isn't a traditional style typing. Uh, you can't have your hands on the home row keys because it picks up everything that you're typing. Here's a feature I really enjoy. You simply tap the FN key and delete and it puts it to sleep. Whenever you're ready to use it again, just tap four fingers against the desk and it comes right back up. And like I said earlier, also it works for Android in more ways than one. I'll show you both ways. One you can actually type using the keyboard. Not sure why you really want to do this, but it's there if you did. The other way is you can use the cursor mode. I'm not sure which generation of Android you can use this one, but I know for the Galaxy S3, for example, you can. Works really well. And once you turn cursor mode on, you simply move against the keys, and it tracks it as a touchpad. To launch cursor mode, you simply tap the FN key and the cursor button that's near the bottom near the spacebar. Simple as that. To get out of cursor mode, you tap it again, and it takes it out of cursor mode. And last but not least, you can use the USB mode. This is a simple other way to set it up if you didn't want to connect through Bluetooth. You can also charge it at the same time as well too. The only true use I can see for this is a desktop setup, not really for a laptop that the keyboard's right in front of you. So this is how it works. On the very bottom you have the infrared light that you can't see, but this is what picks up each tap that you do against the desk. Above that is an LED that tells you what mode it is in. Right, up, right above that is the sensor. The sensor is another camera that picks up each touch against the screen. So you have two cameras that are looking at you, the infrared light and the sensor. And then above that is the actual projection pattern that projects the keyboard out to the desk. 
But yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. Do you think this is going to be a useful tool? I know I use it for my iPad now, so it's really cool. Um, but as always, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe, and I will see you next time.